What's going on, fight fans? We're here with Fearless Corey Jr. fighting at Pope Promotions, not a champion. Galveston Convention Center, March 28th. Man, that's your home, man. And, and y'all bringing boxing back there to Galveston, man. What is that like for you, man? Man, it's an awesome feeling. I'm pretty excited about the opportunity and uh, something this magnitude hadn't had down my way in such a long time. It, it just feels awesome to be putting Galveston back on the map in a way such as I am. And uh, to bring a event of this kind down with uh, the talent that we have on the show is just awesome, man. And uh, hopefully we can have other shows of this kind in the future. Things go well with it. So we're, we're expecting a great show. And uh, we, we, we thank everyone that, that got involved and helped this thing get off the ground and make it be a success. And I just look forward to doing, doing my thing. All right, we got your picture in the background, man. The main event there, man. Listen, man, everybody knows that the home of Jack Johnson, man, those are big shoes to fill. You ever feel pressure, man, to carry on the legacy of what he started down there? Yeah, man, Jack, uh, what he did at the time in which he did it, you know, it was unexplainable. I mean, uh, his character, him as an individual, and him being the first black heavyweight champion to open the doors for all the other ones that came behind him, it was it's just an unbelievable thing, man. I mean, uh, to be the second uh, from from my hometown of Galveston, that's an unbelievable thing. I mean, the, 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 the walk in the line by the Jack Johnson to follow in his footsteps, that's an honor. So I, you know, uh, I, you know, I really can't, I really can't put it into words. Right. You know, Felix, you know, you've been boxing for a while now, and a lot of people really got to know who you are watching the Contender Series. And, you know, I, I ask everybody that's been on there, man, is there any part of that, man, scripted, or they just allow y'all to be you, man? What was it like, man? Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's free will. I mean, they allow you to be yourself. I mean, uh, it's nothing, nothing scripted. I mean, everything you see there is actually happening. I mean, uh, word for word, that's just... The fighters feel what they say, and, and you know, I mean, the emotions and everything that was that was that took place on the show. That was just natural, man. Everything was natural, so it was quite an experience for me to, to get to see myself in a lot of different ways through these other fighters. So I, I learned a lot from that show, and it, it kind of helped me. It helped me. It helped me a lot. I mean, what is it like being on TV like that and having cameras there all the time? I mean, was there ever a sense of like you felt your privacy was gone? In a way, you kind of feel that, you know, but after a couple of days, it kind of goes away. I mean, you kind of get adjusted to it, and after a while, it's like nothing's there. I mean, everything you do is pretty much recorded, you know. And as a matter of fact, now, the situation that I am now, the, the place where I work, you know, there's a lot of cameras around. So yeah. I'm kind of accustomed to it, but uh, after a while of having a camera in your face, you kind of get adjusted to it. It doesn't bother you as much. Yeah. Man, when you went back and watched the show, did you look at something like, man, they edited that. They left out that part that I said. Or, or why did they edit it like that? Well, I thought they, they edited it in, in ways to try to not only boost, boost the ratings, but to make the, the, the fight himself. They, they wanted to, to uh, input the best the best inputs of the fighter yeah. that would make them seem presentable for the show. So uh, um, I thought they did a good job with it. Because yeah. a lot of that stuff on there, they had to edit it. <laughs> a lot of stuff that was said and, and the behind the scenes that was done, you know, they had to take some of that stuff out. It's unprofessional. So. Do you ever get to keep up with some of the guys that was on the show? Do you keep up with them now or talk to them? Uh, it's been a while since I've spoken to them. Uh, run across a few of some shows. Uh, overseas and uh, had the pleasure of uh, speaking some words to a few of them. Uh, but I, I wish them well. I hope they're doing good with their careers or whatever they're doing. You know, and uh, it's been a while since we caught up, but hopefully down the line we'll see each other. Right, and down here in Galveston, that's a tourist attraction. So, you know, it kind of helps. I think Boston can actually be pretty huge down there, especially people going there to visit. They want to be on the water, the seawall and all that. And then to find out that you have an event like boxing, I mean, how would you say the boxing venue is on there? And could it be better? And do you plan on making it better? Or? Well, Galveston has always been the fight town. I mean, since way back when. I mean, my dad, when he fought back in the early 70s, I mean, they had a lot of gyms around there where you can go. And uh, for one, I started at the Boys and Girls Club in Galveston. That's where it all began for me. But yeah. Galveston has always been the fight town, you know. Uh, the surrounding areas, Houston, Dickinson area, they've always been a fight town, fight city. Mm -hmm. So just to be bringing something back like that, it's just 
repeating history, repeating what already happened. Right. Listen, so we got March 28th, man. You have an opponent. You know who your opponent is? Yeah, yeah. He's a pretty cane guy. He's going to come to fight. He's going to be in shape. It's an opportunity for him, just like it is for me. Uh, things go well with this fight, you know, to put us closer to the world title, hopefully by the end of the year. But it's an opportunity for him as well because he can, he can, he can ruin the show. So right. it's just a matter of me going out and doing my thing and, you know, making sure that didn't happen. All right, so listen, so out of the champions at Cruiserweight, if you had your shot, which one would you want first? Any one of them. I mean, uh, sky's the limit. Anyone in that top ten, they, they, they all dangerous, they all worthy. So uh, it's just a matter of getting with my promoter and seeing what direction we can take uh, when that opportunity comes. He, he, he made the decision what's best for us. All I have to do is get prepared and get myself ready for it. Ryan, how are you looking all, as far as your weight and all that? You looking pretty good? Oh, yeah, we good. We good. Our fight time is be ready. There you have it, man. What do you want to say to your fans in closing? And, you know, how can they follow you on Facebook and stuff? Well, I want to I wanna, uh, thank all my fans for all their continuous support throughout the years. Uh, thank everyone that's been involved with this show for having a big success. Thank all the sponsors that's been involved, all the fighters that's on the card. Uh, uh, very talented fighters, man. I look, I look forward to seeing them perform more than myself, you know, because it's, it's going to be such a good show. But, uh, you know, I just want to tell everybody thank you, and uh, I should be back, back, back on Facebook pretty soon, you know, okay. uh, uh, and reaching out to the fans let them know uh, how to keep up with me. There you have it. Pro Promotions, Night of Champions at the Galveston Convention Center, man. March 28th, man. I know you're going to have a big fan base, man, down in your home following you, man. Is there, is there any little nervousness to, to, to perform in front of your, your family and friends like that down in the hometown, man? Well, uh, it's the expectation of going out there and winning, of course. That's, that's on the line. You know, that's always a must. And, you know, they're expecting to see something. So, you know, I want to show up and give them something to see. Besides, it's been a long time waiting, and, and the time is here. I feel the time is now. It's my time. Yeah. All right, Felix, man, before I let you go, man, I'm going to throw a little comedy out there for you, man. Since this fight is coming up, man, have you got any cousins hitting you up? Yo, cuz, you got to take it for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that from time to time. You know, I, I, I like to be a little generous and, and, and donate. You know? Yeah. Uh, give out a few because it's all good, you know. And, yeah. Uh, uh, as many people that, that I can have turn out and spread the word about it, <laughs> it can only help more than hurt. There you have it. Thanks for your time, Felix. You got it.